จุบาแต่างๆต่างกันร้อนขึ้นร้อนขึ้นมากร้อนขึ้นมากเยอะเหมือนกันใช่ไหมคะเยอะมากร้อนขึ้นเยอะมากครับตอนที่ทำงานแล้วร้อนแล้วมีผมจะพบอะไรบ้างปะคะอาจารย์ไม่ได้ทำลดช่วงการทำงานในแต่ละวันทำงานน้อยลงน้อยขึ้นเลย Heat, a silent killer, is a problem that is often overlooked in tropical countries like Thailand that experience high temperatures annually. Statistics on heat-related illness and mortalities in tropical countries are not readily available, and there is little publicity on ways to avoid experiencing heat stress. This lack of knowledge concerning heat-related health effects is an alarming concern for workers who labor in environments with prolonged heat exposure. Thailand's economy is highly dependent on the agricultural and industrial sectors, which require workers to labor in hot, humid environments, making them susceptible to heat-related illness. Specifically, the two working environments that will be focused on are rice paddies for the agricultural setting and a steel factory for the industrial setting. In the rice paddies, laborers work in an outdoor environment where they are directly exposed to the sun. Almost half of the labor force in Thailand is employed in agricultural jobs and face these thermal conditions daily. For the rice paddy workers, who have limited education and a financial obligation to their families, laboring in the rice paddy is often their only option for employment. In the steel factory, the majority of the work is done indoors, where workers are exposed to man-made heat produced by the machinery. In front of the electric arc furnace shown here, temperatures can reach up to 65 degrees Celsius, which is 150 degrees Fahrenheit. Workers in the steel factory have an education that is higher than that of an average Thai and choose to work in this industry. In both working environments, temperatures can reach a range that puts workers at risk for health effects such as sunstroke, muscle cramps, and heat exhaustion. Prolonged exposure with exhaustive physical activity could lead to the most dangerous heat-related illness. Heat stroke. The following are testimonials from workers of adverse health effects due to heat. The small sample of interviews collected at the rice paddies and steel factories showed that both sets of workers do experience adverse health effects from heat. However, the rice paddy workers experience health effects at a higher frequency and severity than the steel workers. This difference can be attributed to the amenities provided for the steel workers, as well as a regulated break routine in the air-conditioned room enforced by the factory. For the agricultural workers in the rice paddies, there is little escape from the sun due to lack of shaded areas and little to no break time. These workers labor eight hours a day in conditions that were almost unbearable for the Westerners on the data collection team. These workers also have little knowledge of heat illness symptoms and prevention, and also lack understanding of proper hydration methods. These contributing factors make them highly susceptible to heat-related illnesses. Furthermore, agricultural workers noted a loss in productivity of rice due to heat, whereas the steel workers reported no loss of productivity due to heat. A loss in yield of rice, a staple food in Thailand, as well as a leading export, could have devastating effects on the economy of Thailand. The lack of information regarding how workers in Thailand are affected by heat is of increasing concern due to the impacts of climate change. There is substantial data that shows an increase in temperature in Thailand over the last century. Increasing by one degree centigrade alone in the last 50 years. As it gets hotter, those who will be affected by the heat will be those laboring in the hot environment, mainly agricultural workers. As of now, the practices of the rice paddy workers, coupled with their lack of understanding of heat-related illnesses, leaves them vulnerable to the increasing temperatures. 
Climate change is of great concern for the Western world, but is often geared towards nature and the melting of ice caps and a loss in wildlife. Though many recognize their contribution to climate change, we often don't see who the real victims are. The developed Western world is the largest contributor of greenhouse gases and subsequent climate change. But it is those who are less fortunate in the developing world who will endure the harsh conditions it imposes. In light of climate change, more research needs to be done on how heat directly affects people. For further information on this video, please read Heat Impacts on Occupational Health, a Comparison Between Agricultural and Industrial Settings in the Time of Climate Change, which is located at www.heatisthesilentkiller.weebly.com and visit www.globalhealthaction.net to read more about the High Occupational Temperature Health and Productivity Suppression Program directed by the World Health Organization. Video presented by the Worcester Polytechnic Institute and Chula Longhorn University IQP SSP4 Climate Health Team. Research was collected under Thomasat University Faculty of Public Health for the HOTAPS program, which is funded by the National Research University Project of Thailand Office of Higher Education.